All right, let's take a look at adding in some photos into our timeline. Right now, we are currently in the video mode up there on the upper right hand corner. We are currently taking a look at all the videos that are stored on the iPad. But if we select photos, that tab along the top, you can see now that we have access to the camera roll and whatever other photo albums we have currently arranged in our iPad. And by selecting camera roll, that gives us access to all the photos on there. And you can see that I have a mixture of photos that I've taken with the iPad camera, but also any photos that I have taken, screen captures uh, that I've taken with the uh, iPad as well by hitting the home and the power button simultaneously. So I've got a good mix in there, but I'm gonna select a photo and it is really as simple as pressing it on the screen there that will automatically bring it into the timeline at the bottom. And again, I've got a number of different photos that I would like to use. And we've now brought in three. Now, just like we did with the videos, I can simply uh, arrange these by selecting it, holding it, and you can tell it pops up. I can now change the arrangement and the order of the photos, and I can choose to have them sort of intermingled with different video clips. Selecting it, holding it, and dragging and dropping it in its new order. And you can see too, here's an interesting thing with photos. This is a picture now of one of our login screens. And if I, if I play that, you can see that it's got this pan type of effect. That is actually brought in automatically. It's called the Ken Burns effect. Now, this is automatically applied to whatever photo I uh, select and bring into my project. Here's another photo of a mouse, a computer mouse. You can see there that it does that slow sort of tilt up. It really is generated randomly. There's a picture on the smart board. We can also, by selecting that, you can see that by selecting it in the timeline, it now opens up these small options here on the preview screen on the upper left. And you can see that I have the option actually, it's cueing me to pinch to position the start, which means that I can actually determine where I would like this picture to start, what it's gonna look like. And if I'm happy starting it, let's say zoomed in like that, I can also then select where it's going to end when it's done. And I might want to have it end right there. And once I've got that done, you can see that if I rewind that picture to the beginning, I can see how I've started at that particular point and it moves down to the end point that I've indicated. So it really does allow you to determine where and when and how this uh, panning uh, of the photo will take place and where it will start and when it will end. Here's the other thing when it comes to the photos as well. If you are looking to remove a photo, it is exactly the same way that you do if you were trying to get rid of a video off of your timeline. Just go ahead, press hold until it pops up and just flick it off to the top of your screen and it is gone. But again, it's not deleted from your iPad, it's just removed from the project.